How big is the Tiger Woods story factor over there in Paris? It's huge. I mean, you you should the crowds just to follow him in the practice round. It's uh, you know he probably gets sixty seventy percent of the, uh, of of the fans around his group, and then the rest kind of disperse around the other groups. It's just it's amazing. I mean, the resurgence of Tiger Woods and him winning again after such a battle off the course, injuries, comeback, the whole thing. It's just kind of injected golf with this huge. Um, boost of energy and you can feel it over here and you know he's energized his team and he's kind of bringing that sort of tiger factor tiger intimidation back to the golf course you've known him a long time you were college teammates and we had nick faldo on recently and he said that tiger told him at uh, the masters that the champions dinner a couple of years ago that he he could barely sit down that he was done like this transformation, I don't know if it's the greatest sports comeback in history, but it's certainly on the short list there. How do you explain how this happened and how everybody fell back in love with Tiger Woods? Well, I mean, I was I was there. I mean, he had four surgeries to sort of deal with this whole back issue, and then I was there after the first surgery, and I went to visit him at his house just to sort of give him some support and encourage him to sort of hang in there emotionally. And... um he couldn't sit up like he couldn't sit up in a, in a chair. He had to always sort of be at an angle because he just his back really at that point couldn't sustain any type of pressure. And he asked me to, to drive him to run some errands. And we went to pick the kids up at school. And it was sort of it was, uh, you know, to be honest, Dan, it was it was a hard it was a hard thing for me to see. I mean, I've I've known this guy since he was nine years old. We've been best of friends for 30 years. And and to see that he was in that condition and to know that it, this could quite possibly be the end of, you know, one of the greatest athletes in history of sports was a sad thing for me. And it was tough for me to even process much less him and then come full circle and a few more surgeries and a fusion and then him having to rebuild his entire game around what his physical limitations would allow him to do. Uh, I'd, I'd put it up there as, you know, one of the the greatest comebacks in, in the history of our sport, just um, because there were so many obstacles to deal with, and and he did it. There, you know, he didn't have any teammates or anything kind of pulling the weight for him. I mean, in golf, you have to go out there and you have to do it and you have to earn it on your own. How does the United States win the Ryder Cup? The United States wins the Ryder Cup by being patient and disciplined. Um, most of most of our players, when they get behind or they make a couple bogeys, they'll start playing a lot more aggressively. But there's there's so much water on these finishing holes, and the rough is so high that if they try to if they start pressing and trying to play aggressive and overpower the golf course, it's going to lead to more mistakes. So they really have to rely on staying disciplined, hitting to the appropriate spots in the fairway, and then trying to take advantage of good, solid iron play and um, just really not try and get too far behind in any of their matches. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.